Welcome to iMovie 10 Basics, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the Ken Burns effect and the fit and the crop and all that good stuff. So, um, let's get started. You should already have your intro video and your three pictures. Uh, if you wanted to follow along with the project, just go back a few tutorials and you'll learn where we're at. All right, so let's get started. Uh, changing this. All right, so when you see, when we go over these pictures, you can see it kind of moves, right? Each of these kind of has their own little moving aspect to them. Well, you didn't really do that. It just kind of automatically did it when you first um, imported your pictures. And this effect is called the Ken Burns effect. He was a filmmaker. He is a filmmaker. Uh, and he did this whole thing. Just You have static images where it just kind of sits there. That's kind of boring. If you move it a little bit, it gives it a little bit of motion, gives it a little bit of life. So we can change the way this actually looks. Um, let's just change this first one here. I like that you can... Um, you can't see at the end here, it kind of cuts off the person's head and the top of the follow part. So what I want to do is I want to kind of look at this thing a different way. So uh, if you don't, if it looks like this, you need to come up to select it and come up to adjust. Okay. And here we have um, the cropping. Well, everything is underneath here, the Ken Burns and uh, that kind of thing. So right now the Ken Burns is chosen. Uh, if we select the Ken Burns, we should be able to, we have a start and an end. Uh, you have a start, so it's starting all the way out here, and then it's going to end when it gets to here. So that's what it's going to look like. So if I want to have the guy's head kind of come up, I can just pull that up like that. And right now, it's, since it's, this arrow shows that it's going from here to there, so if I want to change this, I can move this over to that way. Um, I can move it this way. I can also come to a corner here and I can kind of move it like that. So it will end like right on his face. If I go and I kind of preview it, I can just go like this uh, and it will preview it for me, hopefully. Um, let's see if I just check it, it'll let's see if it'll do it. Yeah. It goes right into that guy's face. Um, so, but I don't want that. So I'm going to select it. And I'm just going to kind of have it go. Ending just kind of cropped in the whole picture. Just a little bit more tightened up here. I want to keep the whole picture there. So starting in the hole and doing that. So when you get done, you can just check it over here applying the crop adjustments okay so if I want to go back I can just go to the front of the clip press spacebar and it will give me a little preview of how things will look all right so that is the Ken Burns effect now in this one I'm just gonna do it has the Ken Burns right now uh, I'm just gonna do a crop to fill or a fit I'm going to choose a fit um, so when you do fit what that does is just basically just makes it a static image and it just has it just sit there it doesn't have any kind of motion at all when I go across this, um, it just kind of doesn't do anything at all. So kind of boring. Uh, and then the last one here, um, this is the Dolly picture. I need to press check on that one. Um, on this one, I can do crop to fill. What that does is if I do crop to fill, I can go in and I can just choose one little piece of this like that, press check, and then now it just zooms on in and it just fills the whole thing like that. So it would just be static images, which is still kind of boring to me. I kind of like the um, the Ken Burns effect. So your assignment is to, in this project, do a Ken Burns effect, mess around with each one of these, and give me some motion. Like I said, up here, click the crop, do the Ken Burns, and then you can choose your start and your end. If you're having a hard time with it, just you want to click in the center of these boxes or the sides of these boxes and you can see where you're at. Um, one thing you'll notice is you can't do like a pull from the side here. It has to be in the aspect ratio of the an actual widescreen. So, and that is it for this tutorial. So your assignment, go through these pictures, add the Ken Burns effect that you want. Um, that's about it. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, you can also do this with um, with video, which is kind of cool. You can add a Ken Burns effect to your video 
it almost gives you like a painting and like that kind of thing which is is pretty neat um and that is all for this tutorial thanks